Back deep is Deshaun Jameson. And he'll take it from his eight-yard line. Parker's down as he is corralled at the 25-yard line. An 18-yard return. Out of the shotgun with Ingram in the backfield. And Keontae bounces it outside. Nice oh, really good cut. And is run down from behind by Daquan Patton, number five. Out of the shotgun, empty backfield. Ellinger lets it fly again deep. And Parker was closer to it than Duvernay. And a punt formation coming up for the Horns. One on the opening kickoff, and that block in the back was huge to help Kansas State defensively in that series. Fair catch is called for by Shelley at the six-yard line. 45-yard boot. He'll keep it, and he's wrapped up immediately. Looked like maybe the ball came loose for a second. But it was Chris Nelson that had uh, his big mitts on him, and Omenahu as well. So fourth down and a punt formation coming up. Yeah, Menehu, Charles Menehu came from the backside, number 90. He's yep. the one that snuck in there and drug him down. It's a tremendous effort of him seizing exactly where the ball was and the quarterback and snuffing out a potential Ooh, longer game. Tell you what, that was almost an injury as the ball came out, but he did recover it. Hicks boots it away with Deshaun Jamison back deep. Backing up to his 10. He's got a lane. Stopped on a dime. Great blocking and a convoy. Can the kicker make the play? Maybe not. Deshaun Jamison will take it to the house. Touchdown. on a 55-yard boot. He got a great block and stopped on a dime. From the 22, Delton remains the quarterback. Trying to run with patience, but there's nothing there. He's going to lose a couple of yards here. Outstanding penetration from Devontae Davis, 18, the senior from Miami's Booker T. Washington High. Jeffrey McCulloch also. Delton shoots it low and incomplete. Boy, that's a grounder. Harris was right there. Isaiah was wide open, and he just threw it into the dirt. We're looking for those dual numbers, as we oftentimes do. Punt from Hicks is a good one. Taken by Brandon Jones. Proposition in that offensive line. Ellinger rolling to the other side this time and finds his man, Colin Johnson. And the dynamic wide receiver has an easy first down and then some. A gain of 20. Well, that play wasn't Kansas State. Watson bounces outside and gets beyond contained. Shelley with the shoestring tackle. Otherwise, he may have set sail down the sideline. So he's in good shape. And on first down, Ellinger to Humphrey. Inside the 30 to the 27, wrapped up by A.J. Parker, a gain of 12. And now this Texas offense is really in rhythm. For Texas, this is a critical moment now for the K-State oh, defense. Go back, they got it wide this. open. It's wide open. Ellinger's got it on the throwback. And he stopped at the five-yard line. The ball hung up. Dequan Patton made the stop. Watson made the throw. And it hung up in the air just a little. But in that time, at the end of the... Yeah, they're clicking now. You can tell. Ellinger shoots it. Got it. Johnson, touchdown. Shelly battling him for it. But the call is touchdown on the field. And when you got a 50-50 ball situation, Spencer, and a 6-6, 220-pound wide receiver, you're going to win most of those battles. Well, the 50-50 ball with him out here is more like an 80-20 ball. <laughs> when you got a 6-5 guy out there that can go up and climb the, the ladder and pluck it out. That's back, and you would suspect that, particularly with this drive beginning here. And Omenahu got through in a hurry, didn't he? Uh-oh, you better watch out. Oh, no, yeah, doctor. Looked like he was over him, and I mean, that looked... Awfully bad for a moment. A no you, flag, though. Right no here. flag. Just watch him. He's in a quad stance and still rips techniques, read, and gets off the ball so quickly. Man, he's an athlete. That's your leadership. Yeah, smart move by those two guys. This could be a safety. Oh, the ball is out. He fumbled it forward. And I believe France is on top of it. And that's that may have yeah, saved him. I think they may still call it a safety. Omenahu had his arms wrapped around him. 
We'll wait and see if that is in fact the call. It's clearly an effort to try to get the ball out. He knew where he was relative to the line of scrimmage and the down. end zone. He's down. His, his knee is down. He's, yeah. That's a safety. That's got to be a safety. And so misery loves company, and now it's going to be a 16 to nothing game. This is in this game at all. They cannot afford to fall behind 23 to nothing. No crossing pattern, shallow cross to Colin Johnson. Right. How about that? You thought he was down. Uh -uh. He keeps on churning. First down, Texas. So to get vertical on you like that spin, he'll hurt you. Ellinger really in rhythm now. Finds Gerard Hurd. He's got it. Second and ten. That's Duvernay. Excuse me. It is Devin Duvernay on the receiving end. Another first down for Texas. <laughs> Ellinger with a couple of receptions for 24 yards. Now in trouble. Pressure coming up the middle that time. And from some squeezing from the corner in safety's positions, Kendall Adams was coming. Reggie Walker, 51, got there along with 21. Well, pressure was coming from here and here, and that's what made this ball collapse. Again, the pressure from the outside, both sides, nowhere to go, but up the middle. And again, when you got bodies all over the place, eight men inside that box, it's going to be tough sledding. Yes, on third down conversions if they've been stopped after that. Now a 28-yarder for Cameron Dicker. That is a victory for Kansas State's defense. On the list a few years ago, Colin Klein, the last time K-State was a national factor, is working with the quarterbacks. Belton's pass is behind Zuber, the intended receiver. Chris Boyd was there in coverage there and came back as a coach after he finally left football while playing in Canada. That's a beautiful punt by Rodriguez, but unfortunately takes the bounce into the end zone. Second down and seven. See the discrepancy in passing yardage as Deshaun Jamison's now in trouble. And will be holding by man was again. Walker again. Wow. He had a lot of help from Kyle Ball, 44, who was giving chase. The junior from Prairie Village, Prairie Village, Kansas, but that's a loss of 14. Only three coming in. Pressure, the ball is loose. Ellinger may have recovered Reggie Walker. Knocked it away from him. And Chevsky will punt it away. Lots of heat coming. Duke Shelley back deep from his 43. Good cutback. And slips and falls to the turf at the 37-yard line. Let's see if this offensive line can redeem itself and vindicate itself from last week. Unable to get six yards in uh, six inches. And Texas defensive front stopping them here. Brecken Hager, 44. The senior from Austin Westlake making the stop. Well, Timothy. Nice, you got him. It's wide open and he's dropped it. Wow. Adam Harder had it and dropped it. And that sums up the offensive woes of this Kansas State team. And he had it in his hip pocket. Snyder knew it. They just didn't execute. And you still don't have the confidence that would have come from oh. getting the six inches to get it in. Look at that. That's tough, man. Oh. Three-man front for the Horns, and they come with some pressure. It's picked up, and Thompson's pass is caught by Schoen. That's his first catch of the day. The junior from Overland Park, Kansas, has become sort of a deep, thro uh, deep threat for this team. That's a 13-yard game. Well, three verticals, again, it's about man coverage. Everybody's turning. The little outcut underneath it is what made it possible. Nice run. Yeah, strong by Barnes. And this is an authoritative look from the offensive front. Up to Coach Orlando about that yesterday. His team knows it. Now 95 yards and penalties against Texas. And that run by Barnes is outstanding. He bowled over Boyd. And you can see France, the rest of that old line, they're enjoying this opening drive. That's 11 yards on that carry. Was he looking for a run? Yes, he was. And he scored. He got that. Touchdown! Yes, there it is! The passer turned runner. And you called it, Spencer T. Texas had an idea what was coming until the last play that they simply didn't execute. That drive, they were a completely different offense. And there goes Keontae Ingram. And he's beyond the 40 to the 42-yard line. That's 16 yards for Keontae. Third down and eight. 
slant, caught. Duvernay shy of the first down. Good tackle there at the point of attack by Shelley. High snap. And it's partially blocked. They did get a hand on it. It was a high snap. That started it. It was. A.J. Parker, number 12, forces this block. And it's only a 14, 18-yard punt. So quality field position. Take the jet sweep and get it to Barnes again. Bowling over Barnes. He's got it to midfield in the first down. Nine. Barnes. Thompson running out of time, and Brecken Hager gets him. At the 43-yard line of Kansas State. Brick Thompson, who started the second half, led K-State on a score in his opening drive. Crossing pattern caught by Harris up to the 48, so near the original start line of scrimmage. That's a pickup of 10 in horns. Of course, they did have a return for a touchdown earlier by Jamison. That's a fair catch taken by Brandon Jones. Reed, I should not expect the tight end. He's got room. And you know that guy's not going to miss a tackle in space. Elijah Walker brings him down. Nick Foles. A couple of Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. Nice job. Ellinger whips it out to LJ. Little Jordan Humphrey has the first down at the 30 of Kansas State. The 20 yard pickup. Down goes Daniel Young, his well, first Justin carry. Hughes, man. Just came in there with his ears pinned back. With a bad attitude. Coming from that inside linebacker position shows you exactly what he's looking for. Look at his, that, that's, that's his focus. His eyes read and react. Is able to avoid a defensive guard trying to block him. On third and seven. He's looking that way. Incomplete. Looked as though he was expecting that route to go out and not up. I want to tell you, it was so wow. bad, I thought he was confused on the route. Yeah. You're right, it was yeah. just a bad pass. Dicker pushed it. He pushed it. Wow. Give him hope, Timmy. Oh, yeah. Give him hope. You let these guys hang around in this building. You talk. Corner cap blitz coming. Thompson with time. It's caught. It's super. It's first down. Got a late blitz. Let's see if they pick it up. Thompson shoots it for Schoen again. That's beautiful. Nice idea. Go back to the guy that just dropped one. As he did right there. That's 18 yards and a first down. Slant Schoen has it first down. First and goal. P.J. Locke. Locked in man-to-man -man coverage there. Brings him down. The if block this and come around to the left. Here he comes, right at you. It is mm. up and over, and right. touchdown! <laughs> Texas has to prove that they are, in fact, a different brand of horns this season. It's Ingram. It opens up for him, and he stopped beyond the 35 to the 38 that's 13 yards in the arms of kendall adams section on that last play action this is daniel young nothing there they stay stayed home beginning with daquan Patton, number five that's a loss of two so third down and seven coming and a late delay pressure off the corner incomplete for jackson even more now they get a stop but texas could pin them in poor field position a late fair catch called by shelley at the 15. wheeler coming up the gut pressure and ball is tipped they came with wheeler on a look inside and hager was also there and the ball was tipped and it's fourth down so big win for todd orlando's defense well that's timely for hager who again hadn't put up a lot of stats but being able to affect it at a crucial time like that with a third and five uh, and that's against the texas team that uh, its fan base will tell you in a heartbeat has owned the fourth quarter they've in fact owned the second half until today if they control the ball here 
keep making first downs and let the clock tick. And there's nothing K-State can do. Kendall Adams with the tackle. Hush. This is a big gamble for K-State. Wildcats bring four. Pass over the middle. Caught. Yep. Colin Johnson. Well, we had not heard from him this second half, but second and six. Ellinger will keep it. It's another first down, and the clock goes tick, 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 as he's down to the 20-yard line, and now you're at 132. 29 of 36 in the air. He's going to take a knee. It's uh, game over. Yep. K-State can stop it once, and that's it hey. this year. And I think that's in contrast to what we saw at the end of last year, Spence. Well, that's what we brought up in our meeting, and he actually thanked us for recognizing that, and it's so important. He understands not just for the constituency that he lives in a world of images and impressions. This was an important win. It's an inflection point, Tim, for the program. Well, Kansas State will not utilize that timeout, and the game is over. Texas moves ahead to 4-1. and one. Kansas State drops to 2-3. and three.